Have you ever wanted to turn your iPhone into a monitor for your camera? Personally, this is something that I've always wanted because I always carry around my phone with me and it has an awesome screen. So if I was able to connect it directly to my camera, then I'd be able to take an additional monitor anywhere that I go. That's what this product allows you to do. This is the Asun CMO. And this is a super simple adapter that allows you to connect your phone directly to your camera. And then you can have external monitor wherever you're out filming. And not only does this give you monitor capabilities, but you could also live stream or record your image directly to your phone. Now, I just wanna say a special thanks to Asun for sponsoring this video. Now, this is an awesome product because it's super simple and it does exactly what you would expect. You plug in your camera, you plug in your phone, and you have a monitor. Let's go over the design of the SEMO. On the front of it, you have your phone holder. And the bracket's built in a way where you can pull it open and it will stay open until you push your phone back against the bracket and then it closes and sandwiches your phone. And it has a tight, secure connection so your phone will never fall out of the mount. On the back, you have a battery mount that is for a Sony MP battery. And then you have three inputs. You have your HDMI input and then there's a video out that's gonna go to your phone. And then last, there is a five volt out. So if you wanna power another device, you can plug it in on the SEMO. Now they've designed this product to be used in a variety of situations. So you can actually take off the phone mount on the front and then be able to attach the unit to the power cage so that you can use this with your iPad. I think it's super smart to be able to use this in a variety of situations because I've been on set and I've used the power cage with Asun's wireless video transmitters. It's really nice to have an iPad as your video screen. And this unlocks that ability to be able to have an iPad as a full monitor that you can put on top of your camera or off to the side, depending how you have your setup. Now also in the box, there's a friction mount, which allows you to put this on top of your camera. And it has this lever, which makes it super easy to put it on and off your camera. And also on the top of the unit, there's a cold shoe mount. So if you're using like a small wireless mic, well, there's an easy place to put it right on top of the unit. And it's super simple to use. You just plug in your camera, you plug in through the video out on the unit, and then you turn on the SEMO, turn on your camera, open the app, hit monitor, and then it starts working immediately as a monitor. So there's no downtime when you're setting this up and there's no waiting for something to load. As soon as everything's turned on and plugged in, you're gonna have an image and you're gonna start being able to work with your phone as a monitor. So there's two key things that make this product so usable. One, it's simple, turn it on, it all connects, it's easy. The second is how the app is laid out. So let's go into the app and let me show you everything you have and all the advanced tools that you have using the app. All right, so you just click the monitor button and it's gonna go right into the monitor. And you can see that I shot a shot here of me outside and I'm just playing this back so we could go through all the tools. Right now you see it's full screen. You tap in the middle of the screen, all your settings will pop up. So in the upper left hand corner, this is your back button. So this will go back to that main screen, which you'll have three dots in the upper right hand corner, which gives you more information about the app. So let's click the monitor button. It's so just starting in the upper left hand corner, you have your video input. So right now it's showing 1080p 60 frames per second. And that's the highest resolution and frame rate that you can use with this SEMO. Now next to that, it has your encoder. Right now it's showing H.264. In the middle, it has the record icon with some time code. Next to that, it has your audio input. Then it has your encoder for the audio. And then it's got these two little lines with dots. And when you click this, it's gonna bring up some advanced features. First is your video bit rate. So this is how many megabits per second that you wanna shoot the internal file. Right now I have it at the max, which is 30, but you can bring this down depending on what you need. And then also you have this button that says add and delete. So this shows us all the tools that we have available in this app, and you can add and delete them from the menu on the bottom. So you go through and click these, and they'll go from blue to white, and they'll be taken off the bottom toolbar. You can go through and customize this app to just have the tools that you use when you're out filming. So I have everything turned back on and let me just show you from left to right. First we have your saturation. So this will either make everything black and white or you can see your full saturation. Next to that you have your RGB. So you can do your red, green or blue channel. And with any of these features, you can click the little gear icon in the lower right hand corner and you can change the settings. 
So I could go from red to green to blue. And so every tool has some additional features to use it how you need. Now the next tool is your histogram. So this will show you all your light values from dark to bright. And then next to that is your waveform, which a lot of cameras don't have internal waveforms. So this is super useful to have on the monitor. Now next to that, you can add your peaking. So this shows you what is in focus. Now the next tool that you have is LUTs internally. So right now I'm shooting an S-log. So I'm gonna go turn on S-log to Cine. Now that you can see that the image has full contrast and saturation. So you can flip this on and off between your log and your full color. And then you're not having to look at the log footage when you're filming. Now, when you hit the record button, you're actually gonna be recording the log footage versus the baked in look when you add the LUT on top of the footage. So now I'm gonna leave this LUT on and the next tool you have are your zebras. And then after that, you have your false color. Now, false color is something you don't normally get in camera and it's a great tool to be able to see your exposure. So you can see how well your face is exposed versus the sky, and you can see the red marks on my skin there, that's where my image is overexposing. So this is a really good tool to be able to see where your highlights are and when they're overexposing and going full white. Now next is your audio meters, and this is where you could actually see how loud your audio is, and it's big on the screen so you could see exactly where your levels are. Now you also have screen guides. So if you wanna shoot in something like four by three, it puts an overlay so you can see exactly where your frame guides are on top of the 16 by nine footage that you're recording. You have de-squeeze. So if you're using anamorphic lenses, you can de-squeeze in the monitor, which allows you to see exactly what you're getting because on a lot of cameras, you don't have this functionality where you could see your image stretched out properly for the squeeze that's happening with your lenses. Now you can add a grid on your footage so you can see what's centered and also where your thirds are. Next is the ability to change your brightness and your sharpness for the screen. So if you wanted to make things sharper or you wanna make your screen brighter, you could do that right here. You could also flip the image. So this is super useful if you are filming yourself and the, cam and the monitor's facing you. Well, you can flip the image so it feels more natural when you're filming. Now there's also an overlay feature. So when you turn this on, it'll put a image over your footage. So if you're trying to match things up, it makes it super easy to see exactly where your framing is so that you make sure that you always have the same framing every time that you're shooting with that specific shot. If you go into the settings, you can see you can turn this on full or at zero and you can select the picture and it just pulls a picture from your phone's library. So it's super easy to use this feature. Now the square with the line through it, this will take a screenshot. You click the button, it takes a screenshot immediately of whatever you're filming, and then this goes into your photo library. Now the last two buttons on the right hand side are your record button, so you click that, it's gonna start recording onto the phone directly, and then it just goes into your photo library so you could use this quickly for something like social media where you don't wanna pull all your footage off of your camera, load it into your computer, and then bring it into your phone. So this is a super quick way to get footage onto your phone and then post it. And then also if you just wanna use it as a backup recorder, you can do that as well. Now let me just show you side by side. On the left is the recording from internally in my camera, and on the right is the recording that's coming from the CMO connected to my phone. And I'm gonna punch in 400% so you can see the quality difference between both of these. Now the last button that we have over here on the right is your go live. So you can actually go live from this device using your phone. So you just click the live button, and then you can configure it. So you can go to service type, put in YouTube or Facebook or whatever, and then it's gonna give you your stream code. You put in your stream code, hit live, and now you're live with just the CMO, which is sitting on top of your camera. And the best part is, this is only $180. It is super cheap for the features that you have packed into it. If you wanna see more about the Asun CMO, head down in the description. And next, make sure you check out this video, which is gonna go through a ton of tips that's gonna help you craft better videos. I'll see you over there.